I'm Lior from the CodeSphere team. Today I'm going to show you how to publish your first NPM package in minutes. Now the package we're going to create today is pretty useless, but the process we use is going to be applicable for almost every NPM package that you're going to want to publish. For example, if you want to make a UI kit, I'd recommend checking out Storybook, which is a great tool for building and testing your components that you're going to put in an NPM package. In our example today, we're going to create two functions, one that takes the nth root of a number, and one that tells us whether a number is even. To get started, create an NPM account if you haven't already done so, and make sure to verify your email address. If you don't verify it, you will not be able to publish any packages. Now, I'm going to be using CodeSphere's web IDE, but everything we are doing is going to work exactly the same in whatever development environment that you use. So now in our command line, we have to log in to our NPM account with npm login. Just put in your username, and then your password, and then your email, and you should be logged in. Now the next thing we're going to do is create our package.json with npm init. For your package name, make sure it's something unique. I'll do Lior's useless package. For version, we can keep it at 1.0.0. Now, whatever you put as your description is going to appear on the npm page, so make it something helpful. Entry point we'll, we'll keep as index.js. Um, we don't need a test command for our purposes, and we're not going to set up a GitHub repo, but it might be helpful to put one on your npm page. We can also add keywords. Um, let's put math and useless, and you could list yourself as the, as the author, and then we'll use the default ISC license, which is the boilerplate license for open source software. Now let's make our first function. Let's create that index.js file, which we designated as the main file for our package. For our code, we're going to set model.exports, and whatever we set this value to is what our package will return. For now, let's define a function called nth root that takes in a number and then returns the nth root of that number. We can now publish this by running npm publish. Now if we go back to npm and click on our packages, we should see the package we just published. We can test it through the npm website by pressing the try on run kit button. Let's print out the result of passing in 2 to our function, which should give us the square root of 2, or 1.44. And there we go, it works. Now let's get a little fancier. How can we add a dependency? So another similarly useless npm package is the isOdd package, which, you guessed it, tells us if an integer is odd. Let's go back to our IDE and install it with npm i is odd. And once that's done, we should see the dependency in our package.json file. Then on the top of our index.js, let's require the module. Now let's use this isOdd function to create our own function to tell whether a number is even. Instead of setting module.exports to our nth root function, let's set it to an object with keys and values for our individual functions. Let's then create our isEven function and just return the negation of our isOdd function. Now you might have noticed the documentation that was included on the isOdd npm page. To create our own, we just need to make a readme markdown file called readme.md. We can then use markdown syntax to explain the installation and usage of our package. For this example, let's just create an h1 tag with a title. Now before we can publish this new version, we have to make sure to increment the version value in our package.json. Let's then run npm publish again, and in a matter of seconds, we should see the new update. Let's test it again, this time noting how the function is a value in our package object. And if we test it out, we get the correct value for both the nth root of 2 and whether 5 is even. Now on a final note, you should feel free to test the publishing process until you're comfortable with it but make sure to unpublish npm packages that are purely for your testing. We all have to do our part to make the npm system clean and efficient, 
so the less useless packages there are, the better. To unpublish your package, simply run npm unpublish, the name of your package, and then dash f. Now if we try to go to our npm page, we'll get a 404, meaning it was successfully unpublished. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions or just want to show off the cool npm packages that you're making, comment down below. Also don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media to get all the updates on how CodeSphere is revolutionizing the development experience. Happy coding!